You talked about a lack of political will, and we know that the facts on science and climate science are here. So if the facts of climate science won't change political will, what will? And if not political will, then who's the most important party's um, mind to change? I think you've got to do two things. It, it, it's crucial that people understand the risks. I mean, the, the risks, as, as we know, are colossal. These are existential risks for big parts of the world's uh, population. Uh, we're the first generation which, through our negligence, could uh, uh, devastate the relationship between human beings and, and the planet. And we have to understand the consequences, the potential consequences of you know, three, four, five degrees centigrade. And we look to the scientists uh, to help us do that and working with them, the social scientists as well. So the first part of the story is uh, making it clear that those risks are enormous. But this, th that's not sufficient. The second part of the story is to be able to show that there are ways of changing that are actually very attractive. If you look at um, energy efficiency, if you look at renewables, alternative ways of doing things, if you look at stopping uh, deforestation, what you'll see is a world that looks, uh, in terms of its consumption and production, cleaner, quieter, safer, um, more biodiverse, and actually more community-oriented, because a lot of the things that we need to do, we're doing, we're doing in a community. You can't re reuse and recycle other than in a community. So a powerful description of what this alternative way of doing things looks like, and as we do that, I think we'll see that it's much more uh, attractive than the uh, old way of doing things. So you have to put those two things together. The second part of the story needs strong examples. And I think you're starting to get, in some cities, some sectors, examples of how, uh, how that uh, could work. But as I said, it needs courageous political leadership, it needs good teaching in schools, bring on the next generation. But I'm not, uh, we can't give up, we can't just say, oh, this political will stuff, it's all too difficult, it's not gonna happen. Well, if that's what you really believe, you know, then get a hat and write a letter of apology to your grandchildren.